Clear Creek ISD hopes to launch a remote only school year next year based on some things they've learned during the pandemic. Among them are how some students perform better school. at home. Jason Miles is live with the details. Hey, Jason. Hey there, Ron. Yeah, many students have uh, gotten used to sitting in front of a laptop like this this school year. Clear Creek ISD wants to make it a permanent option by opening a virtual only school. Physical campuses like this aren't going anywhere, but Clear Creek ISD's 48th school may be a virtual one. We really recognize that there is a group of students and families that this just meets their needs. Pending state approval, CCISD will open Clear Connections Virtual School for students pre-K through 12th grade. It's an extension of the district's remote learning program put into place amid COVID-19. So we're going to take a look at two of the features that are in this short article. The virtual school would operate much like any other, just without students coming to brick and mortar campuses. At the high school level, students will have their own class rank, they'll have their own graduation, they'll have their own principal, their own counselor. Right now, about 6,800 out of Clear Creek's 40,000 students are learning remotely. Those who may benefit from a virtual only environment next year include those with anxiety issues or developmental issues, or those who may be self-driven or motivated enough to effectively engage. I have two screens um, for my laptop. Teachers like the one in this district produced video would likely instruct from actual classrooms in existing buildings like they currently do, which is definitely different from a traditional school experience, yet productive for some. We feel very optimistic that this opportunity will become available for students as early as next fall. And just to be clear, the district expects the vast majority of students to attend school as normal next year in a physical building, but this will be an option for some, at least the district hopes, with that state approval. There are a couple of informational webinars tomorrow and next Monday. You can find out a lot more information by clicking the link to this story on KHOU.com. Ron? Now the pandemic continues to change our lives. Thank you so much, Jason Miles. K